Morning everyone. Well, it's actually afternoon. It's oh, quarter to two today. We haven't just got up really late. We've actually been doing stuff this morning. We've actually had quite a productive morning. Um, did a little bit of housework. And I also went through my Christmas cupboard and I shall insert a clip now. So I just thought I'd show you what's in my Christmas cupboard this morning. Um, as I promised, I think earlier in Vlogmas. The booze in the Christmas cupboard. <laughs> this cat, I, when I was editing last night's vlog, I just can't believe how much she was actually in the video. She was just like really pushing herself up the front in all the scenes. Um, so this is just like a selection of stuff. It's obviously not everything that we're gonna be taking with us Christmas day to eat. We've got a veg box coming from our local farm. So that's all the veg covered and we're gonna also make a nut roast which we need to sort out today. But I just run through some of the bits that I've been collecting over the past few weeks. These are super nice. These are from Sainsbury's and they're like after eight equivalents and they're vegan friendly, really yummy. So I've got two boxes of them for the whole Christmas period. Got some of our Christmas pudding marmalade that I picked up at Infinity Foods the other day. I still haven't smelt this yet, but it looks amazing. Just got some cranberry sauce as well. Obviously I'll be taking the Waitrose Christmas Gold Shimmer Hot Chocolate with me. Paxo, Twiglets. I got some festive kitchen roll. I think that's from Sainsbury's. We picked up some vegan mayonnaise. I think we got this in from a health food shop in Notting Hill actually a few weeks ago. This, in my opinion, is the, one of the best or better vegan mayonnaises. And this is predominantly gonna be used in our Christmas lunch sandwiches on Boxing Day probably and Christmas Eve maybe. I've got some Alpro custard. I've also got a whole host of stuff from Oatly as well. I've got their creamy oat cream, which can be used as like a single cream. And I've got their vanilla custard as well. And their creme fraiche. So I've got quite a lot of oatly stuff in there and i've stocked up on the foamable milk because we're loving that at the moment so this stuff will be coming with us as well i also ordered some of these to take with us i think christmas day breakfast might include these i'm not sure probably these and prosecco i'm thinking for breakfast super easy and quick perfect to take away on holiday with us I also stocked up on some Swedish glaze, which we'll have with our mince pies probably. And I got two boxes of Linda McCartney sausage rolls. It's got to be done for Christmas day evening, I think. Back over here, these aren't vegan, and um, they still contain beeswax, unfortunately, but they are vegetarian. And I thought this was really good because these are like the Christmas Percy pigs and they've not, they've just made them all like vegetarian friendly, which is a move in the right direction for M&S. I think they should make all their sweets vegetarian friendly. I also got stocked up on some of this, Belvoir Mold Winter Punch. Really nice heated up. I wouldn't recommend drinking it cold um, like I did the other week, but we really enjoyed this warm. We've had it a couple of times now, so this will be coming with us. Christmas for me, I don't know why, it must be something from my childhood, but Christmas for me, has to include some pickled red cabbage for kind of like, I suppose, the buffet salad -y dinner that you might have on Boxing Day or something. So I'm really glad we've got that. I've got some snacks, some rice crackers, some peanuts, and some cashew nuts for Andy, because he's okay with cashew nuts, it's just other nuts he's not okay with. And then we got some onion marmalade from our local farm shop as well. What did we get the onion marmalade for? Maybe just to have on crackers. I don't know. Yeah. Some dates, another Christmassy thing. Can't have Christmas without some dates. And I got the Essential Waitrose Cider and Sherry Christmas Pudding. This serves eight, so it should be plenty. I think my mum's made a vegan one as well, but this one's like accidentally vegan. Um, I'm sure it's really nice. All essential waitrose stuff is super nice anyway and much cheaper than their other bits and pieces. And then we've got some Christmas tree salted tortilla chips from Tesco, oh no, Sainsbury's, sorry. And they've done these last year and we just really enjoyed them. They're Christmas tree shaped, so gotta be done, hasn't it really? But they've, they, last year they've done Rudolph Red Noses and they were like tomato ball crisps, which were really nice, but they haven't done them this year for some reason, but they've bought these back. 
And then we're not really big drinkers, but we've got some Prosecco. This is Sainsbury's and it's marked as vegan friendly. But yeah, we're not massive drinkers, but it's nice to have a glass kind of with dinner or breakfast. And I also got some Bucks Fizz as well. So that's pretty much it for the moment. Um, over here are some of the bits I'm taking with me. I've got some fill your own crackers. So I've got a fill too, Andy's got a fill too, and I gave my mum to to fill as well, which I think is really fun because we were looking at crackers and you just know that what you're going to get inside is just going to be really rubbish and it will just end up in the bin anyway. So we thought rather than spend money on them, we should actually not put like really decent presents in here, but at least something like you'd want to keep. I picked up these napkins in a garden centre, I think, Haskins, when I went to see my mum. And I really liked it because it's obviously got all the animals on it and they're alive and happy at Christmas, <laughs> opposed to being on someone's plate. So I thought these were very fitting for me. And then I picked up some of these honey, what are they called? Honeycombs. Oh yeah, they're like little wall hangers and you get a Santa, a Rudolph and an elf and they kind of pop open here and they're like a honeycomb. So we're going to decorate the log cabin a bit. I need to think what else I want to take to the log cabin actually, decoration wise. So that's kind of it for now. So me and Andy are just going to go through this now and decide what else we need to add to it. I woke up this morning feeling a little bit stressed that it's only next week now. We go on... Friday next week like a week away so I need to get really organized over the next few days as to what we're taking and what we're actually making and stuff so yeah it felt really good to just go through the Christmas cupboard to see what we've already got and write a little list of extra things that we might need I just realized I haven't done my eyebrows today <laughs> I need to do that next getting a little bit more on top of things it feels like I'm really annoyed I ran out of wrapping paper last night so Today we're going to take the dogs out and then we're going to probably going to bring them back and then pop up the high street here where we live. It's a bit dull, like there's not much there. I think we've got WH Smith's, um, which should have some wrapping paper options. I've got the Clinton's, but I've got something against Clinton cards. I just, I just don't like it. I just think I don't like it. <laughs> I've gone for straight hair today and it feels really weird because I think ever since I had my hair done, I've been like making it wavy and curly and I think I prefer it wavy but I just fancied a change today plus we're not really doing anything so I couldn't be bothered to sort of stand and tong it for like an hour and we're not really it doesn't take an hour but you know what I mean um so tonight there's a road near to where we live in Braintree in Essex we don't live in Braintree but the road that we're going to is in Braintree in Essex and it's not too far from us it's like 10 minutes up the road and evidently I've been told over the past couple of years that their Christmas lights on the street are incredible and that it's really worth like paying a visit, taking your children there if you've got children because I think every single house takes part and it is meant to be crazy. So I think we're going to go there tonight because we haven't really got a great deal on today and I just feel like we need to do something kind of fun um all together so we might take the dogs as well and yeah just go and check it out i feel like i might have hyped it up in my head a little bit um <laughs> i think i'm expecting it to be really really good and we might get there and be a little bit disappointed they have got a facebook page though and i'm not sure if they've got a website as well it's like it's like an actual attraction basically so hopefully that will not disappoint. The Christmas stress is still getting to me a little bit, but it's all good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling organized. I've got lists on the go and I find that lists really help. So I've got a list of what I need to buy still, a list of what I need to pack and what we need to make. I'm also gonna do another round of mince pies and gingerbread. I need to work out when I'm going to do that actually. It's really hard with food and stuff like when you're going away and you want it all to be fresh and but you don't want to be like really stressing and going crazy at the last minute. I think the closer it gets to Christmas the more I look forward to the bit after Christmas. The bit where it's okay to just do nothing and there's no real 
things planned or anything until like New Year's. Just realised I haven't opened my advent calendar for days. So I'm going to go and do that now. It's been my birthday for a week now. So the birthday cards have come down and I've popped all the Christmas cards up on the shelf now. Next year we definitely need to invest in something that holds the Christmas cards because they just really annoy me when they're on the shelf like that and they keep falling over as well. I've got some mail this morning as well, a couple of parcels, a lucky dip club box which I shall open later and this looks like a Christmas card as well. Christmas tree and then Oh, I'm not too behind with it. I'm not as behind as I thought I was actually. 14th needs to be opened. Oh, a Christmas cupcake. That's really cool. Should have made some like that. And then today, I believe, is the 15th. What's on here? Oh, snowman with decorations on. I don't think we're getting snow this year. I would love to get snow this year though. By the way, this is how out of control my mug situation has got. Like, my whole cupboard is pretty much full of mugs. And I keep buying mugs or getting given mugs. And we've got an overflow situation. And I've got this one to add to that now. <laughs> I just love mugs. I can't get enough. But I literally haven't got any more cupboard space. Like, this one's all full of glasses. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen about that, but we'll be moving next year, hopefully, so that will sort itself out. My mum gave me this mistletoe when we went to the garden centre last weekend. She bought some for me, and I just sort of hung it out, and it's gone, like, really dry and a bit withered looking. So I've just popped it in some water. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that, but people hang it up, so I don't know... I thought it was just okay to just be left hanging, but obviously not. Um, if you have any mistletoe tips on how to revive or keep it alive, let me know below. I think we'll get mail time done and out of the way now. Ooh, another sparkly car. To Sarah, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Charlotte. Charlotte is another blogger and she happens to live just around the corner from me. And we've met a couple of times. Yeah, it was so funny. One day I think I posted a picture on Instagram and I tagged the location as Housestead and she contacted me and was like, oh my God, you live in Housestead, I live in Housestead as well. And we were both like 43 beauty bloggers and or bloggers. So it was just really random because I don't really know anyone here either where we live. Thank you, Charlotte, for this. It's really sweet. I'm going to add it to my collection. All I can hear is people running around, like panting really loudly. I know what this is. I placed a little order with Body Shop. They had a really good deal on a couple of days ago. It was like 40% off plus free delivery plus a free gift. And I was just like, that is mental. And I'd just run out of my bronzer, which is one of my favourite ones. So I thought I'm just going to order it. Nice packaging as well. Well done, Body Shop. Yay. So this is the bronzer. It is warm glow. And I think it's like a baked, what they call baked bronzer. It's really good. Lasts ages as well. I had my last one, like well over a year, I think. And I got a free body butter. What flavour is this? Mm, that's really nice. It's just like one of their original body butters I think and now it's time to open the lucky dip club box this is quite a sad is this the last one I think this is it's not the last one ever but the lucky dip club are no longer going to be a monthly box so I think they're going to quarterly let's see what's in here oh that's really cute so I think the theme this month is Christmas birds. How sweet is that? So Alice Tams is the illustrator this month and it always comes with, oh, I love that. 
it always comes with like a monthly planner inside it says let's hibernate that's so cute and on the back it always comes with like a coloring in page i'll add this to my reading pile which is there oh my god that is crazy i forgot completely that it's my birthday month which means i get the special birthday extra package in the Lucky Dip Club box. I can't believe I forgot that. Look at that card. That's so cute. So retro, I love it. Let's see what's in the box. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. That's gonna look amazing on my new pin wall hanging. It's a pin badge of the little hedgehog that was on the calendar. How cute is that? It says, let's hibernate. Oh, I'm going to wear this pretty much as soon as Christmas is over because I'm just going to hibernate in January. Decorate your own Christmas tree card. Simply cut around the dotted lines and use the sticky pads to attach and create your own personal design. Littlepapervy.com. So you've got a card and then you've got the little bits to decorate it. <gasps> gonna do that later. It's always just like really exciting seeing what you're gonna get in this box because it's always like different every month. What is this? That's so cute. It's like a little wooden robin with a red breast and some ribbon. So I'm assuming this is like a Christmas tree decoration that you could also paint your own maybe. Let me just check what it says in the magazine what that is oh no it's a wooden necklace illustrated by alice tams and handmade by little laser club i'm not sure i'd wear this as a necklace so i think i am gonna make it into a christmas tree decoration oh wow display me on your mantelpiece so you just kind of stand it on your mantelpiece and then we've got some jazzy paper birdie decorations cut out and hang on your christmas tree oh. So cute. I like that there's like a bit of DIY in this as well. Oh my God, this is the cutest. Oh, look at these gift tags. It's so nice. It says like to and from on the back. And we've got some wrapping paper with the same design on. How nice is that? I just feel like this is too nice to even use. Maybe I could make something with this. Oh, I could do paper chains with it, which I could then use every year and get out. I really wanted to make paper chains this year and I haven't done it. So maybe that is what I'm gonna do with this because I just think it's too nice to wrap around presents and get like ripped and ruined. I'm 100% gonna do paper chains. And that's it. Just literally had another parcel turn up and been waiting for this for so long. It's from Manfrotto and it's their little gadget that basically lets you hold your iPhone on the tripod. So it lets you do this. And we saw this when we went to the Manfrotto event in London. When was that? October, November? Yeah. And I ordered it pretty much straight after because it's just a really cool little gadget and something that we actually really need and as soon as i ordered it stop it's not for you yes, you've got my just camera so i need that no now. just because it's a gadget it doesn't mean it's automatically for you <laughs> oh just really getting fed up with trying to open things let me do it no <laughs> you can't do it because your nails yes it's a really nifty bit of kit you can fit your phone in there like that and it's got a little hole for the tripod and up here you can put one of the little Manfrotto lights which oh, we've yeah, got I forgot about that. which is really cool because if you're filming on your phone and the lighting's really bad then it's just solved that solution and then after you've finished using it folds up flat. it just folds up flat isn't that just genius if you go onto my blog, thevnicelife.com, 
type in search Manfrotto and it'll bring up my Manfrotto event blog post. There's a discount code. I think it was 20% um, for my readers. So if you would like to buy one of these, then definitely take advantage of the discount code on my blog at the moment. So this would be like the setup if, if you were gonna put it on the tripod with the light above it. Really good, and that's what it looks like when it's just the phone on the tripod. So that is officially mail time over now. I've just hung, hung the little necklace thing on the tree. I really like it on the tree. Dog walk time again. It feels really cold today, much colder than I thought it did. So we've just popped up the high street. I think I'm gonna get one of these because it looks vegan friendly. Co-op normally say on there if it's vegan friendly or not, but it doesn't, but it hasn't got any allergens listed on the back. It's just like an Indian vegetable selection. Really good for after Christmas when you can't be bothered to cook anything. So remember when I was saying the only thing my Christmas sandwich was lacking was this. I've got some more Christmas paper in Sainsbury's. This will be good for the kids' presents, I think. Just on our way home now, and I just thought I'd show you our high street where we live. Although, <laughs> half, the, half the lights on the Christmas tree seem to have gone off. So it doesn't look as good as it could have looked. <laughs> There's a cute little nativity scene under the tree as well. Do you guys try and keep your wrapping paper secret from each other? Because me and Andy usually do, but we just went in Smith's and saw some really nice paper. So we were just like, I said to him, look, I just want to get you this paper. So you're going to know about it. And then I saw one that I quite liked. So I was like, you may, you may as well just get me this paper because we're going to see it anyway when you put it under the tree and transport the presents. So it's silly really. But I don't know why, we always feel like we want to make it a surprise what our presents are going to look like. I picked up three rolls of the one I liked and Andy was like, do you think you've got that many presents? I hope so. We've got some nice paper though, I really like, this is the one I'm going to be wrapping Andy's presents in. It's got like glittery green small Christmas trees. And then he's wrapping mine in red polka dots and some red sparkly reindeer. I think we've got enough paper now. There's just the smell of the chip shop in the air, so we've just said we're gonna get chips for tea. It's gotta be done, isn't it? <laughs> it's gotta be done, it's Thursday. Can't really be bothered to cook anything. Hello, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, they say it tastes different though. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's just like... How good does this look? Tastes good as well. <laughs> Those chips were so good. Really filled a big hole <laughs> in our stomachs. Just what we needed, actually. Right now, we are going to go very quickly to M&S because I just want to see what wrapping paper they've got. And my mum has made a request for uh, some cranberry bread um, for Christmas, which I would need to freeze. Because we're going to see those lights on that street as well. It's sort of in the same area. Right, let's go. I think we're going to take Suki with us. She is also really wired right now. And I think she will cry the house down if we go out again without her. So she's going to come with us. Though I don't think she won't be allowed in M&S, but she's going to stay in the car with Andy and then we'll take her to see the lights. I feel really bad though. I feel like I want to take Zen as well. Oh, Zen looks really sad like he wants to come. Oh, Andy. He's more stress-proof than it's right. Come on. Oh no, look at his face. He wants, more stressed in the car though. He wants to see the Christmas lights. Oh. He wants to come. He doesn't really. I can't do it to him, Andy. Papi, do you want to come? 
<laughs> so we've gone from not taking any dogs to just taking Suki and then Suki and Zen and now all three of them are coming and Andy feels really bad because he said if we don't take Bappy as well what if the house burns down and he dies and we'll never be able to live with ourselves. We'll have to take the cats as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah if you're going to use that argument what about the cats as well? It's just so hard. We just feel so guilty. But at the end of the day, an evening walk could benefit them. They'll get all their poos and wees out, hopefully. You can't take one and not the other. If Zen hadn't looked bothered about coming, then fine. But he wanted to come. So we're just approaching the Christmas lights street. And I was just saying, I'm really intrigued to know if like the whole street takes part or if it's just like a select number of houses or a cluster of houses. I can't imagine that a whole street would take part. You're always gonna get one or two that won't wanna do it. Andy thought we were just going to see one house. I was like, no, it's a whole street. We're just about to turn into the road. I really hope it's not disappointing. But so far, I can't see anything. No offense, but that's nothing special. No, that, I can see these lights reflecting off of that. Okay, Andy oh, thinks. Look, look, down there, is that? Which oh, look. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, my. God. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. Right, we need to park and get out, I think. I can say from just being in the car that not all houses are taking part but it's, there's a lot of houses around here though it's still impressive okay so these few houses have really gone for it oh look there's more one more down there oh my god it is actually pretty good guys i mean i just don't get why like these houses wouldn't take part i don't i don't think we're the only ones that have come to see them either there's quite a few people here the amount of lights on that this one's pretty epic Um. Look at Zen, look. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. This, this one's not moving. They're moving as well, that's crazy. I've just noticed the reindeers are moving as well. Stop. Stop, ruin, stop ruining the ambience. <laughs> Oh, you're setting all the neighbourhood dogs off now. I'd give this one a 5 out of 10. This is pretty, this one, look. It's really cool. Oh my god, look at this one coming up. Oh, this is another level. This one gets 10 out of 10, I think. This one's nice though, this is like classy. I'd have this outside my house, I think. Oh my god, there's a Father Christmas there. That really just freaked me out. That is pretty Have cool. you ever... Oh my god, oh, look, guys. What's that there? They've got snow machines up there. <gasps> I think. They've got snow machines up there. Are they snow machines? I think it looks, like it, it looks like it. Maybe there's. No, it's like a foam machine, isn't yeah. it? Oh, how do we get it to come on? <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> Stop it. Enough. They're doing it for charity. Yeah. They're supporting the British Heart Foundation. Put some money in their pot. Yeah, I think this one gets 10 out of 10. What do you think? Yeah, this is good. Best one so far, isn't it? Best one so far, yeah. There's more. There's more, though. I'm not a fan of that snowman. No, that's too... It looks a bit scary. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like an actual ski slope. Yeah. There's little, like, those little penguins coming down. Fundraising for veteran charities. Oh, you put all your money in one pot now. Oh, I thought it was all for the yeah, same. Yeah, I did as well. They're doing it for different charities. That's a good idea though, isn't it? I'm starting to wish that we didn't bring the dogs now. I know. They're I being annoying. Take, I can't take any photos. I think, I think that one would give me a headache a bit. Look at all the lights on there. That is cool. <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's something in the window up oh, there as well. Yeah. Look. That is a bit freaky, isn't it? It's good though, it's clever. I prefer the big blow up snowman on this one. What, this one? Oh, this is good. Look down there. Oh my God, there's like a, there's a giant star. It's like a little fairground. <laughs> oh my God. 
Maybe we should move to this road. <laughs> this one's pretty good. Like the flashing on and off though would do your head in a bit, wouldn't it? Another one. So that's it, we've done the loop. Oh, it was worth coming. And there was me feeling sorry for you all and you all just played up and were horrible. So we're back home now, we're getting all cozy. Andy's basically in bed. <laughs> Today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I feel like we had loads of fun today. So yeah, we're just gonna have a cup of tea now and call it a night, I think. I hope you've all had a good day and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And <laughs> catch you tomorrow night.